What's up YouTube? Going to go over the iPhone 3GS activation issue that some people are having. As you can see, I have an iPhone 3GS 6.1.3 baseband 516. That is normally a good baseband. Should have restored just fine. This is a more common error if you have the 615 baseband. Um, I did fix two of these today, so hopefully I can fix this one on video while you guys are watching. I know that viewers would prefer that I do it live rather than just talking about it. What you will need is the Red Snow 0.9.15 B3. I'll have a link for this in the description. And you will also need this IPSW here. iPhone 3GS 6.0 IPSW because you need to point Red Snow to it to downgrade the baseband or do anything with iOS 6 on the iPhone 3GS. I'll have a link to that as well. So, to start, I'll give you some background. This was an iPhone 3GS that would just stay on the Apple logo, wouldn't do anything. I restored it once, it got stuck in recovery mode. I then um, opened Red Snow and point. Boy. And that's what you'll need to do is you'll have to have that IPSW there. You'll need to point to it. Successfully identified, that's great. This here asks you if your uh, iPhone is a new boot ROM or old boot ROM. Um, mine's a new boot ROM, so I'm going to click yes. Go back, hit jailbreak. And this is what I did after I got into recovery. I went ahead and downgraded the baseband because it wouldn't even turn on after that first restore. Just went to recovery mode. Um, I did this. And then, now that will, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the iPhone. You can see it's still connected right here. Once that goes away, it means that the iPhone is turned off. And for the baseband downgrade, you want to make sure that it's a clean power off and then straight into DFU mode. You don't want to do it from iTunes logo, um, although it did work the last time I did it, but that was from a fresh restore. Maybe that's why it worked. So now that it's off, I'm going to go ahead and put it in DFU mode, and I'll have links to DFU videos if you don't know how to do that. Basically, how I fixed the uh, other two was uh, once I got the activation error, I downgraded the baseband on one of the three GSs. There you go, I have it in DFU mode now, so it should be doing a baseband downgrade on it. Um, even though it doesn't have to, it had the 516 baseband. Um, most people wouldn't think of re-downgrading the baseband to fix it, but that's what happened with the two other 3GSs. I downgraded the baseband and that fixed it. Um, I had to do it once on one of them and then that fixed it. It went ahead and just activated right away. On the second one, I had to do it twice. So my suggestion is if you really want to get your 3GS working, do it two, three times, you know. Uh, keep trying this as long as you have a, a good baseband, you know, as long as something is showing up in the baseband, um, I think this should fix it. And hopefully this will. Right now, uh, the 3GS is going through the baseband fix, downgrading right now. I see the pineapple on there. It's moving applications. I'm going to put a SIM card in the phone. Put an AT&T SIM card in the phone because it's not factory unlocked, so that way it can activate. Now I'm just waiting on the iPhone 3GS to do its thing. I'll skip over this so that way you guys don't have to sit through it. You should see a pineapple doing things, it should say moving applications and then move it'll it'll eventually say to uh, hold on while it's flashing the baseband and just be really patient, that takes some time okay so it's all done flashing the baseband, now I have the Apple logo on my iPhone and I'm waiting for it to turn on, it should still turn on without any issues Okay, Apple logo went away. Ok, 
There you go. The computer has recognized it. You should see now that I have the 516 baseband still. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this. Uh, Red Snow, open up iTunes. Goodness. Set up as new phone. Get started. And this will not work. I mean, you, um, you can't really see it. Let me minimize this. This will not fix the phone. Um, right now it's jailbroken, so it's uh, activated basically. So just because you were able to get to uh, to the screen and you can go to your home screen and all that good stuff, it's not fixed yet. You won't get service on anything. So you want to go ahead and restore it. So I'm just going to restore it right from there. I'm not even going to put it in DFU mode. I'm just going to restore it. And basically what we're looking for is for iTunes to activate it without involving Red Snow or anything like that after the restore. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Uh, hold up. Okay. It looked like it was going to recovery for a second. Preparing the iPhone for restore. All right. And I have the bar, so it's restoring now. I'm just going to pause the video while it's restoring, and when it gets almost finished, I'll go ahead and resume it so we can see what happens when the phone finishes restoring. Okay, the bar is all the way filled up on the 3GS now, and you can see on iTunes that the restore is almost complete. Alright, so that's usually a successful sign when you get this, your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and it's restarting, blah blah blah. So now, this is the part that's important. If it allows me to set up the phone as new, that means that it was successful. If it doesn't, then I can try downgrading the baseband again. Um, this would be the second time though that I've done it already, so according to the other two phones, this should work this time. If you talk to Apple about this, they'll say that um, the reason it won't activate is because the phone has been jailbroken before and has been tampered with and blah blah blah, and that is true, but you can also fix it. So they can't do anything on their end, and it's not anything on their end. It's strictly on the phone, and it's strictly the baseband, and there you go. Welcome to your new iPhone, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up his new phone, continue. And that just naturally activated. I didn't do anything with Red Snow, nothing at all. So that is good. Phone is back and fully functional. I'll pop up. There's forecast, so you can see baseband is exactly the same. The only difference is that it activated through iTunes this time rather than through Red Snow. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you know, comment be below, like the video, subscribe, whatever. I'll answer any questions you guys have about this. Thank you.